Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is ECT TV, episode 67. So today I'm going to show you how to make this pendant, and it's using, I'm using a pretty big chunky bead, and it is side drilled across the top, so I suggest using a bead that's similar to that for this sort of technique, but of course you can take these techniques and use them in other jewelry pieces, however you are inspired to do so. So for this project you'll kind of need a big chunky focal bead. I'm using this turquoise bead. It's side drilled which is helpful for this particular pendant I'm going to show you. Um, so you'll need that. You'll need 20 gauge half hard round wire wire cutters, chain nose pliers, and round nose pliers. And it's always helpful to have a pair of bent nose pliers around just in case you need them to help with your wrapping. We're going to start by cutting about 10 inches of wire. And this may vary depending on the size of your focal bead. Mine's about an inch across, so maybe that can give you a little bit of the help um, deciding how long to cut your wire. And then we're just sliding this bead onto the wire. And now I'm just going to find the middle here and center um, the bead on it. And I'm just kind of pushing up the wire, kind of bending it up. And we're going to cross it in the top in the middle. So I want it to be as close to the bead as possible. And then in the middle, and this can be super frustrating, but do your best. And then we're going to give it a twist. So your bead should be centered in the middle of the wire. The wire should be twisted. You have plenty of wire up here and um, as close to the bead as possible. So, um, you know, this part here that comes across should be as close as possible. And I'm going to do a second twist just for stability. Okay, so now we're going to work with just one of these wires at a time. So I just kind of moved one off to the side and I pulled one up straight. And with this we're going to make a wire wrapped loop. So we're going to hold this wire in our round nose pliers just about a quarter of an inch above where that twist you just made was. And then you're going to wrap the wire down around the pliers to form a loop and then remove your round nose pliers. And then we're going to switch over to chain nose. And so you're going to hold that, that loop that you just made in your chain nose pliers and wrap around once. And while you do, pull the bead out straight. We're just straightening that loop so it's straight above our bead. Oops. And now I'm switching hands. And you could be using your bent nose pliers to help you wrap, but the wires are pretty long, so it's pretty easy to use your hands. And we're going to go around two more times, trying to wrap as neatly as possible. You might want to go around an extra time. I think I went around an additional time. All right, so for now, just kind of leave that wire there. So now we're going to deal with this wire. So first I'm going to pull it so it's kind of coming down in the middle of our focal bead. And then I'm going to make sure the end is cut with a flush cut. So the back of your wire cutters toward what you're cutting for most standard wire cutters. And now I'm going back to my round nose pliers. And we're going to make a spiral with this piece that will be in the middle here of our pendant. So we have to start by making a loop. You can decide how large you would like your middle loop to be. Um, the loop that's in the middle of your spiral. So you can decide that and then hold it in the wire in your round nose pliers. Make sure the wire is at the top of the pliers but not poking through. And then twist away 
with your wrist while wrapping um, the wire with your thumb on the other hand. Go as far as you can, readjust, and then finish the loop. And so then you have a loop. I always say it looks like a P, but then I hold it backwards. Here we go. <laughs> And so that's the beginning of our spiral. So now we're going to grab our chain nose pliers, hold that loop in the chain nose pliers, and you'll see the wires kind of off to the side. And so you just push up and you start to make a spiral. So you push up with the wire and your spiral. you're making a spiral around, and then you readjust in the chain nose pliers, push up readjust. Sometimes I find that I'm actually kind of twisting with this hand with the pliers instead. Um, so whichever way. And you can go as slowly as you need to to make your spiral. And then we're just going to keep going until we kind of get in the middle of the pendant. Maybe, maybe more to the top. It's it's up to it's up to your preference. Okay, so now we have the spiral, and it's kind of weird looking because um, it looks like a B here. So what we're gonna do is take our chain nose pliers and get kind of in to the spiral to that last part there. Kind of shove it in our <laughs> our chain nose pliers, and then we're gonna bend back. So now the spiral comes straight down. And then you can make any adjustments you need to make. And in fact, in this case, it looks weird to me. And I'm just going to go around um, the top part one more time. And then make this the front. Okay, and then I'm just kind of pushing it down to make sure it's flat against this focal bead. So that's super cute. And so now we're going to deal with this other end. You could just trim it off and be done with your pendant, but I'm actually going to make another spiral, just a tiny one. So I'm going to cut this wire and making a flush cut. Up so there's about a half of an inch left. And then I'm grabbing my round nose pliers again. And I'm going to bring this wire so it's more in the front. I have it off to the side. And I'm going to make a spiral just like I did here, but I'm going to use the very, very tip of my round nose pliers so it's a much smaller spiral. And so you just make a loop to begin with the same way, and then use your chain nose pliers to spiral the wire. And then you just sort of bend around so that the spiral is in front of the wire. And you can even just take your pliers and push it down. And kind of move it and adjust it <laughs> to where you want it to be. So as you may be able to tell, this is more a circle than a spiral. Um, if you want a larger spiral, you can. Um, just leave more wire when you cut off. It's up to you. Okay, and so I also just took my uh, chain nose pliers and twisted to make sure this loop was going this way so you can just sort of put a chain or cord through and then wear your pendant. And that is how you make this pendant. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it gave you some inspiration and ideas for making your own pendant. There are step-by-step -step photos and instructions over on my website at KimberlyKohler.com. The link is below this video. Also, if you sign up for my newsletter, you will get future episodes of ECT TV episodes, the tutorial from the episode, in PDF form, which is great for saving and downloading and printing and taking it to your workshop. So if you sign up for my newsletter, I send them out when they are published every two weeks. So you'll get the future episodes. Thank you so much for watching and have a creative and inspired day.